Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel Aka Silva and today we are going to learn how to locate root 7 on a number line. Hope you have watched root 6 on a number line video yesterday. So today it is the continuation of that. So which concept we are going to make use of to locate an irrational number on a number line? Everyone know it is nothing but Pythagoras theorem only, isn't it? Yes, if we make use of a Pythagoras theorem concept, you are more familiar with that because in our video only, I have taught you how to locate root 2, how to locate root 3, root 5 and root 6. So in every uh, uh, location of these irrational numbers, we had made use of a similar concept that is Pythagoras theorem, right? If you haven't watched it, please check the description box and do watch it again. So, uh, yes. In order to locate root 7 on a number line, can you guess which two number I can write here? Yes, you are correct. It is root 6 and 1, right? Yes, it is root 6 and 1. How? Because AC is my hypotenuse. Because any side, any side opposite to 90 degree, that is my hypotenuse. So Pythagoras theorem says AC square equals the sum of other two sides. That is AB square and BC square. AB square plus BC square. If I consider AB as root 6, the whole square. And if I consider BC as 1 unit square. And you all know root and square gets cancelled. So this will become 6 and 1 square is 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So we will be getting AC square as 7. When I shift the square also to other hand side, it will become root 7. Very good. You are on the right path. So this is what? So firstly, I have to locate or I have to construct this root 6 number line. For that, I have to make use of this concept. Correct? No. This concept will give us how to locate root 6 on a number line. So that is root 5 and 1 you should take as another two side. And you have to know how to locate root 5 first. To locate root 5, this is the concept. Taking two unit and one unit as other side. So we have three basic constructions. Okay, can you see here? We have three basic construction to get this root 7 on a number line. So the first one is this. This is the first sketch. This is the first sketch to locate root 5. After getting root 5, I am going to construct root 6. So this is my second sketch. After constructing root 6, I will be getting root 7 by using this sketch. Come on students, let's learn one by one now. Same students, I am going to take 2 cm as 1 unit. See from 0 till 2 cm, 1 unit. 2 to 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 goes on. So if this is my 0, this is my minus 1. No need to write negative, but even though just for a reference. And positive, let it be more. Okay, so please don't forget to write the scale. So 1 unit is 2 cm. In this, 1 unit is how much? 1 unit is 2 cm. So what is the first step? First step is we need to construct this root 5 on a number line. For that, take a base as 1 unit. Okay, let me take base as 1 unit. Let me highlight it with another ink. Yes, this is my 1 unit. After drawing 1 unit like this, we need to construct a perpendicular line. You can make use of protractor or you can make use of compass also depending upon your teacher marks. So I will make use of, uh, uh, yes, protractor is easy but even though I will make use of compass. So for that, let me take the compass. So I am just going to take a little bit radii like this. Keeping the needle at this point. One, I will just draw a semicircle like this. After that, keep the needle at this end of a semicircle, cut an arc, again keep it here, keep at this arc and cut an another arc. From these two arc, cut an above arc like this, one, two, okay. So just highlight this and just draw a 90 degree line, okay. Let me draw like this. After taking one unit, yes, we need to take two units from a perpendicular line. So, this is my 90 degree. 
from 90 degree I have to take 2 units remember 2 units means this is what my 2 units don't take 2 cm and lose your marks and your ma'am or sir will definitely won't give the mark even though we beg so please be aware of those things so this is my 2 units after that join that so this is my hypotenuse which gives a measure of root 5 so step 1 is over now let's land on to the step 2 procedure so we have root 5 now we need to draw a perpendicular line on that perpendicular line we need to construct one unit so from root 5 I have to construct a perpendicular line like this so if this is my root 5 okay from this point take a compass take a certain radii like this keep the needle here and draw the semicircle like this after drawing a semicircle at any one end of the semicircle keep the needle cut an arc keep the needle cut an arc okay then from this cut an arc from here also cut an arc so join the intersection point like this after that you need to draw a perpendicular line like this so this is my perpendicular line now root 5 I have perpendicular line I have constructed as per my second concept on a perpendicular line I have to take one unit okay so one unit means two centimeter from this so take one unit from your compass adjust your compass till one unit like this keep the needle at this 90 degree angle cut an arc so this is my one unit after taking one unit join it so this is my hypotenuse for the second triangle where this is my root 6 now make use of the last concept we have root 6 now draw a perpendicular line on a perpendicular line you take one unit as a line so from this point from this point okay I'm just going to draw a semicircle let me draw actually it's very tricky guys because many times you have to keep on drawing the semicircles but you should never lose the hope uh, yeah keep uh, the needle at one end of the semicircle and just keep constructing one arc here and from this arc uh, another arc like this so this arc is here above one arc here above one arc so this is my intersection point from this intersection point you join to the another line so this is my 90 degree so from this 90 degree line I have to take how much already I have root 6 from this 90 degree line we have to take one unit okay so for one unit you have to take a compass because one unit means not one centimeter it is two centimeter as per I guess yeah this is my one unit from this 90 degree angle okay from this 90 degree angle cut one unit like this yes the semicircle that I took was also one unit I guess that's why both the uh, arcs are overlapping so this is my one unit from one unit you just draw a line to zero at last we got root 7 now after three atoms correct this is the root 6 and this is one unit root 6 square plus 1 square will give root 7 by my Pythagoras theorem right yes now last step take the compass keep the needle at 0 and keep it till 7 like this ok then draw an arc my pencil is too light but even though I think it's visible draw an arc like this yes we get root 7 somewhere here can you see we get root 7 somewhere here that's it so this is the point where root 7 lies or I can say from 0 till this point the total measure is root 7 units hope the points are clear
ओके लेट मी मीट यू गाइज अगेन विथ एन अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो अंटिल देन टाटा बाय बाय हैव अ नाइस डे थैंक यू